do you feel about the Miami Dolphins? Do you believe that are they legit contenders in the AFC? In the AFC? A few weeks ago when you asked me this, I said yes. I feel completely different now because I believe since then they've had two losses since the last time I came on with you. Um, yeah. I think I was on right after they whooped up on Denver, right? Yep. So yep. since then, they're two and two. And again, in between the Buffalo and Philadelphia matchups where they lost, they beat the Giants and the Panthers, two teams that can't enforce their will on anybody. What it, Really what it looks like with, with Miami is whenever they come up against a team, no matter – you know, all the speed they have and as dynamic as they are on offense, when they come up against a team that can enforce their will on them defensively, they're going to struggle. And that's what we've seen. That's what we've seen. Now, Philly's defense hasn't been locked down all year, but they get stops. They know how to get to the quarterback when they need to. Yeah. That's what we, that's what we saw against the uh, Dolphins from um, from Philly. And then in that game was rather close compared to uh, the Buffalo game. Buffalo just outright blew. Buffalo could have put more points up. They shut it down in the fourth quarter. Let's just they did like that. They they completely they didn't want to embarrass them. They can the way uh, the way Miami embarrassed uh, Denver. They didn't want to do that. They completely shut it down, and that could be because they know they play them at least one more time this year. Division rival is different. I get that. You don't want to put too much on it. I understand that, but they could have easily probably put up sixty points on them. Yeah. yeah. They definitely could have. So, yeah, Dolphins, if I had to lean one way as far as we're talking Super Bowl, I'd say Pretender right now. I, I got to say Pretender because when they've gone up against the upper echelon teams, we see what happens. They're losing by double digits. Yeah, now the Kansas City Chiefs, Chris, they lost their season opener against the Detroit Lions. They haven't lost ever since. They are 6-1, and one, and they are leading the AFC West. So far this year, Patrick Mahomes has 15 touchdowns. Six interceptions, over 2,000 passing yards. He's completing 70% of his passes. And Travis Kelsey's playing well. They say a man who finds a good woman finds a good thing. And so the impact of, of, of Taylor Swift being at these Chiefs games, it cannot, it cannot be undermined, Chris. It cannot be undermined. What are your thoughts about the Chiefs as we head into the second half of the season? I think my man Rob Gronkowski said it best recently. Um, he said, you know, the NFL is going a little overboard with the Taylor Swift thing. I, now I know. I don't know how many Swifties are watching this, but if they are, I don't mean no harm. Don't come at me. But yeah, the Chiefs are the Chiefs. Let's just keep it a buck. Yeah. That, that opening loss, they lost by one point to Detroit. Detroit had a lot of hyper. That game meant a lot more for the Lions in week one yeah. than it ever will for the Chiefs who were coming off, who were starting the defense of their uh, second championship in, what, four years? Second yeah. uh, Super Bowl in four years. So that game, not to say that they took Detroit light, but that game meant a lot more for Detroit. And we see how that start has gotten Detroit on. Now they lost last week, but they've gotten off to a, one of their better starts in the last however many years in Detroit. They look really good. Yeah. The Chiefs, until further notice, the Chiefs are the best team in the AFC at the least. They might still be the best team. It doesn't always show up in the box score, but they may still be the best team because – they know how to go win when they need to go win. That that, that that's what it comes yeah. to. They know how to go yep. win when they need to win. They know how to get big plays in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been even been better this year overall than it, it has. has been the last couple of years. Like they're actually ranking a lot higher as far as yards and points and all these things defensively than they have in the last few years. You put that with what they already have offensively, and everybody thought, you know. They lost Tyreek Hill, you know, all these things. You know, they're not the same offense they were. They had got a lot of young receivers outside of Kelsey, who's a tight end, but basically a receiver. Outside of Kelsey, got a lot of young receivers. What are they going to do? They're still the best team in the – probably in the league, but definitely in the AFC. Until further notice, you got to go through – they're probably going to get home field, field advantage again. Yeah. <laughs> um, and have another AFC championship game at Arrowhead. Yeah. Yeah. The Chiefs are the team to beat in the AFC until further notice. Now, there are a couple teams, that obviously I'm sure we're going to talk about it, that could challenge them. But right now, heading into – what are we heading into? Week 9 here? Week 8? Week 8. Week, week eight, 8, yeah. Week 8 right now? Yeah. They're, they're still the team to beat. They have to be. They yeah. have to be. 